Did you know that each year, 106 million tons of organic, household, and similar municipal waste are produced in the European Union? 15% is collected separately as household bio-waste, and another 20% as garden waste. But almost 60% of this bio-waste still ends up in the mixed waste fraction. Finally, also, our waste water treatment produces 9 million tons of dry matter bio-waste per year. The question is, what can we do with all this waste to protect our planet and to reduce climate change? What can each one of us do to bring back the organic waste to our economy, valorizing it and closing cycles, thereby protecting our environment and reducing the use of non-renewable raw materials? When we throw out the garbage, we should consider that unsorted waste will most likely end up in landfills or will be incinerated, putting extra burden to our environment and health. But when sorting our waste into recyclable fractions like paper and cardboard, glass and bio-waste, we could greatly reduce the environmental impact of our household waste and support the circular economy. By separate collection of your household bio-waste, you'll support the research project Volatile, funded by the European Union's Horizon 2020 Framework Program, providing feedstock for sustainable bioprocesses. Your bio-waste can be used as an input material in the innovative volatile process based on microbial conversion. In the volatile process, a mixture of different bacteria and microorganism is using the bio-waste as food and is converting the bio-waste into so-called volatile fatty acids, which are building blocks for other processes. Besides these organic acids, hydrogen gas is also produced and spontaneously leaves the reactor liquid and can be used for energy production or in other chemical processes. The volatile fatty acids and the microorganisms are then separated using a membrane with very minuscule openings, allowing only the volatile fatty acids to pass and retaining the microorganisms in the reactor to continue their work converting the waste. These pure volatile fatty acids can then in turn be used for different bioprocesses. Specialized bacteria can transform the volatile fatty acids into PHB, a biodegradable plastic that can be used for packaging material as alternative to fossil-based plastics. Some yeasts are able to convert the volatile fatty acids into single-cell oils, which form the basis for soap, candles, and edible oils. And finally, versatile microalgae turn the volatile fatty acids into omega-3 fatty acids, which when added to our food, help to stimulate our brain and body. The implementation of the innovative volatile approach helps to establish a circular bioeconomy, turning our household bio-waste into a sustainable feedstock for our economy and protecting our environment, thereby ensuring a livable future for our children. Everybody can be part of the circular bioeconomy and the volatile community by collecting organic household waste separately, thereby supporting economic growth and well-being. Together, we build our future. If you'd like to have further information on the innovative volatile project or you'd like to join our stakeholder platform, please visit the project's website.